What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. I am out here doing a full home system here at my new home in Colorado, finally. I got the crew here from URC and some of our local installers helping me out with the build. Part of the system, really the brain, is gonna be my rack. I got a 42U rack from Strong down there, which we sell as well, but I needed power. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing a new product that Dream Media now offers. It's available on our website, Big Dog. We're looking to do a few things with power strips or power supplies, UPCs. I'm gonna kind of get into some of the differences between all of those, because I even have a battery backup on my rack. You don't wanna go spend a ton of money on all your AV gear, these amplifiers, they have very intricate boards. And one of the main things that can happen is lightning strike. You guys know if you've been watching my channel a while, I spent a decade down in Texas and I can't tell you how many homes just got like wiped out. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in gear because they don't have any surge protection. And it's just a heartbreaker when we come in and we're like, yeah, the other the last installer didn't put in any surge protection. Because a lot of these surge protection companies have warranties, guarantees that they're going to protect your equipment. So you want to protect all the gear that's in there. Big Dog, they're doing more than just power protection. They have smart outlets. One reason you want to consider a smart surge protector is because devices may act funny. Everybody's had to reset a component in their home. Say your Apple TV just gets hung up and it needs a reset. To really do that in a rack can be a nightmare. The guys are going to spend a lot of time with their Velcro and tie downs, making the, the rack look clean. So everything's labeled and nice. You don't want to go having to pull out your Apple TV or try to remove the cable. So with smart outlets, you can go in and just through the application, especially my installers out there, you guys know we have to keep these systems online for our customers, especially these high end projects. Like when they come into town, Everything needs to be operating seamlessly and we don't want any problems. This is gonna monitor the health of the system and give us the ability to see these outlets and we'll have them all labeled. So like, say if that Apple TV is hung up, well, it's gonna alert us and we'll be able to just reset it and make sure that fixes the issue. They have power metering, which is cool. You can actually see the amount of power that every single outlet is outputting. Another thing is the reliability of the power that's going into your device. A lot of these products require a stable connection. And if your power is fluctuating, what can happen is, is the product will actually still be on but it loses its IP address. We don't like that. <laughs> That's like a nightmare. They also have something called self-healing auto reboot. Invaluable. If it's detecting a problem, it's just gonna take care of it to where our guys don't have to worry about it and the customer doesn't even notice. They have thermostats built in, four smart thermostats, wired and wireless connectivity. We're gonna be hardwiring it in. I always like to hardwire my components if at all possible. But you can set multiple schedules and then they have the connected equipment guarantee which is basically warranty. You spend all this money, you wanna make sure that the stuff lasts. So they're gonna guarantee that. Say the lightning strike hits, it will take out this module. These modules, you can just replace them. So very, very inexpensive way for us to save your equipment and then pop in that new module and get you off to the races as soon as possible. All right, guys, let's get it out of the box. This is the PRR13PI, Intelligent Power Supply. So these modules right here just pop right out. I mean, look at that, that's amazing. It's just so easy. They got power, USB, and then an always on power supply. Like say you wanted to throw an iPad in there or just an extra device if you ran out of outlets in the back. So they got this little interface here as well that'll show like your power um, output and the temperature of the units. Here on the back of the unit, we do have our outlets labeled uh, one through 12 and then that one on the front. And again, inside of the app, we're gonna have that labeled with the individual devices that are hooked up to each power supply. We do have a ground as well as 
our reset button and then the power input, thermostats, outputs, um, so that we can receive the temperature of the devices. An antenna, network, UPS for battery backup. And we have some little feet. If you just wanted to set it on top of your table, we have all our triggers right here and our thermostat pins. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. And then we got our screws for our rack mount ears and our power cord. Oh, nice. It actually comes with all of our temperature sensors. That's great. I thought I was gonna have to grab some. So you can see the two wire right here and a little temperature sensor. You're just gonna set it on top of the device. Oh, it's magnetic too. That's nice. You wanna make sure your stuff stays cool. That's our number one contributing factor to equipment overheating is a lot of guys will come out to do a project for you and jam it all into this cabinet. And if you don't have any type of ventilation to dissipate the heat, it just burns up. I mean, the amount of AVRs I've seen fried over the years is ridiculous. At least monitoring the temperature, you kind of get an idea of what's going on in the rack and if you need to add additional bands. This is really nice. They got four temperature sensors. This was just a quick unboxing video, guys. We're gonna take a deep dive into Big Dog. They're really uh, killing it in the custom integration industry. And we also have this product available on our website and a bunch of different configuration and options, all the way down to just like power strips if you just need to split your power. We're gonna deep dive into my entire rack here and go over a lot of intricate details. So be sure to stay tuned to our channel, upcoming videos. I am doing a whole URC build, Universal Remote Control, the first control company that ever made a remote is out here at the house showing me what they have to offer here in 2024. A lot of very exciting content coming your way in addition to audio upgrades coming for this room right here behind me. I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up and drop some comments down below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Until next time, this is Zach, the Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.